If you ever had any doubt of the government's inability to provide for the needs of the people, just look at the utter fiasco we now call the energy crisis. Our country was built on cheap energy. Today, energy is not cheap, and we face the prospect that some forms of energy may soon not be available at all, and everyone will be paying much more simply to keep home and family warm. When the federal bureaucracy fails, all it can suggest is more of the same. But this just won't work. Solving the energy crisis will not be easy, but it can be done. It is no program simply to say, use less energy. Of course, waste must be eliminated and efficiency promoted. But for the government simply to tell the people to conserve, that's not an energy policy. At best, it means we'll run out of energy a little more slowly. But a day will come when the lights will dim and the wheels of industry will turn more slowly and finally stop. We need more energy, and that means diversifying our sources of supply away from the OPEC countries. The only way to free ourselves from the monopoly pricing power of OPEC is to be less dependent on outside sources of fuel. The answer, obvious to anyone except those in the administration, it seems, is more domestic production of oil and gas. We must do such things as master the chemistry of coal, we must also have wider use of nuclear power. There must be more spending by the energy industries on research and development of substitutes for fossil fuels. Putting the market system to work for these objectives is an essential first step for their achievement. Additional multi-billion dollar federal bureaus and programs are not the answer. Won't you please join us September 3rd and 4th for the Pathway to Prosperity Energy Innovation Conference? Together, we can make America great again.